Hello, fabulous superstar cancer. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of October 2020. Looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a remarkable astrological month, a powerful one at that. It is a blue moon month, which means that we will begin the month on a full moon and end the month on a full moon as well. And the areas of your sky being lit up right now are considered especially sensitive. They have a sweeping way of being understood beyond just narrow areas of life. And it is the very top of your sky and especially visible part of your sky that is going to be lit up at the very beginning of the month thanks to a full moon happening hand in hand with Chiron. This is a part of the sky that has to do with career, social standing, life purpose. It has to do with your understanding of what a higher, more loving vision for your life is. Now, for some of you out there, I see this energy working out one of two ways. Either you will attract experiences that make you aware of where you feel vulnerable, of where perhaps some healing needs to take place, or you will summon a healer within and bring a spirit of healing where it comes to you being out there pursuing matters of career and life purpose. This connection of the full moon with Chiron makes this time feel that much more vulnerable and for you feel that much more visible. For some of you, this may involve attracting an experience. Perhaps it is with a boss or person in a position of authority, or perhaps it is you and your understanding of what it is that you're meant to do that evokes these feelings of visibility and vulnerability and exposure at this time. And of course, where it is that you are bringing forward the healer in you, it may be at this time that you come to understand what you do in a higher sense. You align with a sense of a higher calling right where you are, regardless of what you're doing in a practical sense, you realize how it is that you can bring a spirit of healing to it. Regardless of what it is that you're in a very practical way doing, understand that this energy can be one of those moments that helps you to feel as if very quickly you've moved forward, you've moved on, you've established a greater sense and depth of meaning to what it is that you do, but also connected to a deeper sense of life purpose right along doing what it is that you do. For some, this is going to represent success and achievement, but for others still, this may represent a change on your career path that ultimately does align you with something that resonates more deeply and is more in alignment with a legacy that you believe you are creating. It is a time of change, but it is also a time of power and empowerment. As we navigate further into the month, right around the 16th is when we will have this month's new moon. This new moon will be taking place at the very foundation of your chart, the bottom of your sky, having to do with home and family of origin. It also connects you to your past in some way, whether it is your perception of your past and your childhood, or perhaps your ancestors as well. What is interesting about this new moon is that it will be speaking in tension with the triple conjunction we have taking place this month between Jupiter and Saturn and Pluto. And what this does suggest is that there may be a feeling of frustration, of uncertainty, a sense of desiring change, but feeling like there's that much more you have to do to make it come about. Now, for some of you out there, this may be related to buying or selling or moving or wanting to attract a new roommate because Mercury retrograde is happening right around the same time. It does suggest that if you are signing contracts and negotiating, that's where you do want to be a little bit careful. If it is, and if it feels like you don't really have a choice, then of course you have to trust your life. But a sky like this does suggest it's a better idea to focus more on things like repairs and making smaller changes in the immediacy rather than thinking about big and bold changes if you have a choice and if you can help it. But again, if it feels like you don't have a choice, then you have to trust your life and flow with it. Um, if it is that you are thinking about your family of origin, your parents in particular, it may be at this time that there is a desire to spend more time with them or to be more present with them. 
do your best, surrender the rest, and you will be where it is that you need to be. Now, it is as we navigate to the end of the month that we will have a full moon just in time for Halloween. Now, this full moon is happening hand in hand with Uranus. And this is a surprise, a minute, a shocking energy <laughs> that seems to come out of nowhere. Now, for you, you are going to have this happen in a part of the sky. That has to do with friendships. It has to do with group endeavors as well. Things could change very quickly. And as I said, Mercury is retrograde at this time, starting to slow down to a standstill, but technically will go direct just as we enter next month. So Mercury, technically retrograde. And this does suggest that very much by surprise, you may find yourself interacting with friends that you knew way back when. It may be that very much by surprise, you find reunions are in store. But if it is that you participate in a group endeavor, it could also be that very quickly your role changes within it. You realize you don't wanna continue your participation or it may be that you end up going a totally different direction uh, and deciding to leave a group or other people leave the group. Regardless of what happens, there is a very quick moving quality, a shocking quality even. Now this can be wonderful where it comes to things like reaching a whole lot of people very quickly because of where this full moon is taking place for you. If you are hoping to reach people on social media or regular media for that matter, uh, well, this energy can help you to do just that. However, you do wanna be careful with this energy because sometimes the reactions you provoke <laughs> could be very unexpected and it's kinda of like going viral for all the wrong reasons can happen here as well. With Uranus, it could go either way. It is going to be dramatic regardless of which way it goes. And yet, it can also be one of these moments where you find yourself with a real sense of reach and a real sense of support rather quickly at that. Where it comes to matters of love, the fact that we've got these very powerful planets in your opposite sign now, and in particular, speaking with that new moon mid-month does suggest that it is as a result of what is happening in partnership and love that may be affecting the way that you understand home and the past. For those of you who are open to meeting someone new, this new moon does suggest this may be a time when you are connecting or reconnecting with people that you knew long before, uh, people that you perhaps were in relationship before as well, maybe going as far back as childhood. The other thing is that it can feel as if you are attracting people um, that are connected with you on a level of home and whatever that means to you. So that can be a country, that could be a city, that could be a neighborhood. But there is a sense of mixed feelings on your part as to where it is that you have been and what it is now that you're coming to understand as to how far it is that you have come having a surprise interaction or even just getting notice of somebody that you were connected with long before seems to have a powerful effect on you, especially in the middle of the month. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, this can be a meaningful time, but I do want you to be a little bit careful here. It's almost as if you learn a lot about their past or something about their past, or you end up sharing something of your past that ends up getting uh, mixed reviews or mixed feelings uh, or mixed outcomes. And so it may be that this person tells you something and it doesn't have the response that they had anticipated and it leaves you with mixed feelings. It may be that you reveal something or they learn something about your past and that ends up creating a situation where you feel a heightened sense of uncertainty. Regardless of what happens, there is something very honest about what is happening now and how the past is influencing the present, like when you understand that, how much it is that patterns may be repeated, that has a remarkable way of freeing you from the burden of before. It has a remarkable way of ultimately illuminating a pathway towards a future free of those very patterns. And for those of you in an established bond, especially if it is that you live with your partner, Part of what may be changing or uh, might change or has changed, well, all of that could very well be connected to your partnership. And I'm speaking in particular in matters related to home. So whether it is that you already live together and the two of you have a difference of opinion as to what to do around the house, how to change the house, 
Um, but it can also be related to families as well. I'm so sorry to say, but if it is the case that families sometimes don't get along so much with one of the partners, some of those issues can come up, uh, especially around the middle of the month. And what's also possible with this energy is that there may be a desire to actually live together if you're not already or have more space in the living space. Now, whatever it is that needs to be negotiated and understood, there will be the motivation to do that and to find a deeper understanding. What I love about this month for you, well, look, there's a lot here. It is a very powerful astrological month, but I ultimately love how this month sets you up not only to understand larger success, but also to connect you to your roots. And there is a new way that you are understanding where it is that you have been before. And with this renewed perspective, you get that much more clear as to your purpose and the direction in which you're going. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded, exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.